When you come to install a Grant Spira biomass boiler, there are a couple of key points to bear in mind before you start. The boiler can only be installed indoors on a level, non-combustible solid hearth of at least 125 mm thick that extends at least 225 mm in front and 150 mm on each side of the boiler. Then you need to make sure that you've got sufficient clearance around the boiler. There needs to be at least 400 mm of space on the right side of the boiler when the hopper is on the left and 150 mm on the right. If the hopper is on the right, these clearances are reversed. You also need to have enough clearance above and in front of the boiler so that you can open the top lid and front door. This space is really important because it will give you the room you need to install, maintain and service the boiler. Look in the installation instructions to check all clearances are OK. The Spira is a good choice for sealed and open vented fully pumped heating systems. For sealed systems, you'll need an expansion vessel. Make sure it's the right size for the volume of water in the system. The washdown connection is fitted on the opposite side of the boiler to the hopper. The flow and return connections and the condensate outlet and trap are at the back. To dispose of the condensate, you must use only plastic pipework. Make it as short as you can and keep bends to a minimum. Using a soak away is not recommended. The Grant Biomass Flu system is the only one that's recommended for use with a spira. Make sure that the flue rises vertically from the boiler and that there are no horizontal sections or bends of more than 45 degrees. Position the terminal in an area that's free of downdrafts. If you're in any doubt, have a look at the details in the building regs. When you've got the flue installed, Fill out a data plate and put it up nearby. Take care not to box the draft stabiliser in or obstruct it. The Spira's electrical connections are in the back of the hopper. The five-way plug from the hopper goes into the socket at the top left at the back of the boiler. And the lead from the flue fan and solenoid goes to the top right. Now, you just need to connect the two leads from the boiler control panel to the two bottom sockets on the left of the burner and the pellet auger lead into the upper socket before you turn on the power supply to the hopper. If you need any help, you'll find the details in the installation instructions or our online technical forum. So remember, the Grant Spira must be installed on a non-combustible surface. There must be enough clearance for the boiler to be serviced this is really important. Expansion vessels must be large enough for the sealed system volume, including the boiler. Position the flue terminal in a downdraft free area. Follow the guidance given in the installation instructions at all times.